Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Nuclear Throne. So this is an indie game. It's currently on the Steam market. It's um, if you if you ever played Binding of Isaac, it's almost like it's almost the same. So you can, in the, in the beginning you can choose some characters, and uh, I always go for Crystal because he has a shield which can block bullets. Has the game speak for itself. Just some basic shooting. And particularly dodging. You need a good reaction time for this game, especially in the later levels. I played about, uh, I think, three hours right now, and I still didn't, uh, still haven't reached the nuclear throne yet. It's like the uh, end stage, if I remember correctly. Grenade launch is like the best weapon, but it's really good in the early levels because you can you have a lot of mobs and at the same position. That was really bad. So these green things are like your XP points, you have to pick them up to level up, gain new abilities. So as you can see I'm, I'm using my shield like all the time, it's the best ability, that's why I always play crystal. Let's move on. I really enjoy the game so far, it's really refreshing. It's one of those games that you just don't play very, very often, but when you play it, you're having a blast. So this is Big Bandit, it's like the first major boss you get in this game. He's really easy to take down, sometimes be a problem. Though I'm still using the normal pistol, like the worst one. Just that I didn't get a good drop yet. So you can't hold the shield for like all the time, I'll just show you. It's going to go away after a short period of time, but you can instantly reactivate it when it's over, so that's actually quite, yeah. In my opinion, it's quite overpowered, but... Well, I'm using it, so... Each gun has its own ammo type, or at least, like, shotguns have, sh have uh, shells, um, bows have um, arrows, and yeah, that kind of stuff. And the green lines has grenades, of course, so that's see which up upgrade we're going to get. This one is really good and you can just then you just get back to life. You can do it uh, one time each stage, so that's really good. I'll take the pop rifle. This is the most accurate rifle in the game, though it's dealing quite some damage. And it's just using normal bullets, we have quite a lot of them. The worst thing about this stage is that it's like dark, you can't see what's, what's coming and stuff like mobs, like that one, <laughs> for example, I have to take care. That actually is a, is a one shot, one hit kill if you get hit by that uh, that. Rat. Let's take the XP. Oh, that's another one. Nah, it's not dead yet, I can still hear it. Oh 
my god. That's sad. Oh, oh it's not. Well, that's sad. <laughs> Flamethrower. I don't like that weapon. It's, no, it's not my kind of weapon. In this game, at least. More HP and diamond drops. I always go for, always go for the HP. It's like, Ankiness, man. It's the best. Just in general. So these guys can actually fly towards you like this one. That's they can flank you easily with that. So you just have to pick them up one at a time. And that's the sniper. He's really easy to counter with uh, crystal. Just remember that when um, when when the bullets are bouncing back, they also do damage to the enemies. So they can hit themselves with their own bullet, that's a really good tactic to use against the snipers. Well, I actually did. There they are. I don't have a screwdriver, I see. Well, at least if you hit this red car right here with the yellow uh, roofing, it, uh, then you get the secret but if you have a screwdriver. If you're using a screwdriver. I think the second end boss is on this stage, I'm not sure. It's this stage or the next one. I think it's actually the next one. That. Hey, we damage. You can actually hear the hits. Insane. Oh, we need HP. So that's a portal you see right, right in the right, in the right under. If you if you shoot at the the police, will come out and um, yeah they will try to kill you, but you can just easily kill them. It's not well, actually that's a really good one. That's all right for. And just go for the encounter. Look at that. That's clear. I don't know actually why you have to kill them, but they are just part of the mobs if I'm correct. So. And then just shoot portals like that. Easy, easy peasy. Actually, I like the pop rifle. Oh, so, let's go for that one. Alright, this is the boss level. So this boss is, uh, yeah, also one of the easier bosses. It's like, um, he's stationary, he's not going to move a lot. So you can just shoot them with long range. Oh, at least melee them. I hope I'm not going to die right now. Yeah. Like That's the boss, the big dog. Should be somewhere over here. There he is. I really need HP right now. Yeah, that's it. This is my Yes, HP. Good job. Good shit. Look at that. He's like, he's like not moving a lot. Which is why the need to Especially with wrestling. Then you feel the need to dodge stuff. Yeah. That as well. So I'm just going to swap the um, the the rocket launcher uh, with uh, the shotgun because I like the shotgun a lot. Actually, the launcher shotgun is even better. Something here. Let's go. We really need HP. Like that's priority. I'm not 
going for that one. I'll just mute it later. Let's see if we get something better then. This is actually one of the harder harder maps. As these guys have like instant lasers, it's not like a bullet travel time. Like that, same. And then you die. So what what went wrong here is that the 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 crystals have a instant laser. So when when they shoot, they instantly hit you. So there's no bullet travel time, nothing. So at this point, you really need um, a bow, uh, a crossbow, something like that, some bolts, crossbow. That will work better because then you can just easily one shot them from distance. Well, at least, guys, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, that kind of stuff. S see you later.